Council Member Pine? I can wait. No, no, go ahead. Okay. Well, I'm also voting in opposition. And, uh, I've, I voted against these bills from the very beginning. As someone who used to work at a homeless shelter, I just felt that it was bad policy. It's, it was bad policy because we are moving people from our business districts to people's front doors of their homes. And that is not a solution to homelessness. My very first speech is talked about when we vote on policy, we need to ask ourselves, is this going to solve the problem? And I said from the very beginning that this doesn't solve the problem of homelessness. And so it does make me very sad that we are passing yet another sit live bill. It seems like we're going to pass a new one every month that includes another district until the homeless are pushed all the way to my district, which they have been already in very large numbers. It seems like we need to reevaluate how we are trying to solve this problem. We have allocated an enormous amount of money uh, for the Housing First program, but it's very specific. It has to be on city land, and that has caused a lot of complications in implementing swift programs that will house a lot of people very fast. When I was in the legislature, I was in the housing committee, and we realized that something needed to be done a lot faster than we could do, and that was when Governor Lingo did an emergency declaration on homelessness, which was highly unusual at the time, and the housing committee did allocate $50 million to support the effort of building facilities very fast and acquiring uh, projects to put people. Communities in Eva Beach at the time all got together as well with all the pastors and community leaders and said, we can't have 400 people living at Oneula Beach Park. There is a whole village at our beach. And it was a combination of efforts of having more flexibility in government spending to solve the problem. Uh, the pastors worked very closely with social workers, and people actually housed people that were homeless within the Eva Beach community that were approved by social workers that it was safe to do. And a lot of them were their friends and families that they had gone to high school with. And I was very proud that, uh, to see that a woman that I had met 10 years ago on the, at, at Oneula with her, her son, a baby at the time, was able to move into a shelter that we had declared an emergency uh, to open in Kailailoa. And she's now in permanent housing up the street on, off Renton Road in Eva Beach in another facility for, for low-income residents. I hope as we deliberate with the budget that we can maybe look at the solution that we thought was the solution in, in allocating money to only a city-owned land and see if we can expand that. It's very clear that it's not working right now. And it is my hope that we can reevaluate how we're going to spend that money and perhaps work with the mayor's office to do so. Thank you.